Happy Monday afternoon to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist from Misha Shade. It's time for your tropical update. We have rolled into the month of October, but guess what? It is still hurricane season, and that's why I'm still here to update you on exactly what is going on, tracking the latest with these systems that still keep popping up out there. They just won't leave us alone. The good news, nothing headed towards Southeast Texas for now, but we've still got all of the rest of October and of course all of November before we can say goodbye to the 2023 hurricane season. So we're looking at our tropical climatology and we are into the first few days of October, but as you can see, we can still have a decent amount of activity during this time of hurricane season. We can still get those tropical depressions, tropical storms, and even hurricanes to form. I think once we get past the middle of October, that's when our chances for anything heading towards Southeast Texas really start to go down. But for the next few weeks, especially, you will want to stay alert, keep it here. And of course, we will be monitoring very closely what is happening out there in the Gulf of Mexico, in the Caribbean and also in the Atlantic. We do still have one tropical storm out there. We did have Rena and Philippe, but Rena kind of fell apart and dissipated over the weekend. So now we're just left with tropical storm Philippe. So tropical storm Philippe continues to kind of wreak havoc a little bit for portions of the northern leeward island. You can see Barbados there, Trinidad and Tobago down there, but up around Guadalupe, Antigua, Barbuda, we've got the potential for some heavy rain and some strong winds. So for that reason, we've actually got a tropical storm warning that was just issued for Antigua, and we also have a tropical storm warning that was issued a little earlier for the island of Barbuda. So some of those Caribbean islands will be dealing with that threat for maybe two, three, four, five, possibly up to six inches of rain along with tropical storm force winds, maybe some 60 to 70 mile per hour gust. Maximum sustained winds with tropical storm Philippe are currently at 50 miles per hour and it is moving to the northwest fairly slowly at this point around seven miles per hour. We've got that pressure down to 999 millibars. So you can kind of see it swirling there over portions of the Lesser Antilles. It does not have a eye or eye wall with it, but it is looking fairly healthy at this point, and it does still have the potential to bring some heavy rain, as I mentioned, to some of those Caribbean islands. The good news is that it is not going to be pushing west, so I don't think it's going to make it over towards Puerto Rico or the Turks and Caicos or over towards the Bahamas, but it is impacting portions of the northern Leeward Islands. That's why we do have those tropical storm warnings around Antigua and Barbuda, but it is pushing it northwest and eventually it's going to make more of a turn to the north. So it will be moving away from those Caribbean islands over the next day or two, and it will start to slowly but surely strengthen up to 65 miles per hour by Thursday afternoon around 1 p.m. It will get fairly close to Bermuda as well by Friday. In fact, by Friday, I think Philippe will be approaching category one hurricane status very close to a hurricane by Friday afternoon, 1 p.m. with 70 mile per hour winds. Notice the track, that cone of uncertainty taking tropical storm Philippe just to the east of Bermuda, and then it will likely be a category one hurricane by Saturday afternoon with 75 mile per hour winds. All right, as we look at Philippe, we see that it is currently still down there around the Lesser Antilles. Of course, here is what's left of Rena. We'll call it the remnants of Rena because it kind of fell apart. It turned to a tropical depression, then it weakened to basically a remnant low, and now it's not really much of anything. So Rena is pretty much long gone, and then we've got Philippe to worry about. And at this point, we're not really seeing any other tropical waves or potential disturbances that would likely develop into to tropical cyclones at least over the next seven days. So that means the Gulf of Mexico expected to remain quiet for the next week or so. Things should still be fairly quiet in the Caribbean Sea. It looks like Philippe could potentially roll into the Eastern Caribbean, but it is not. It is moving north, so I think the Caribbean should be fine once Philippe starts to push north over the next 24 hours. And then off into the Central and Eastern Atlantic, not really seeing any tropical waves that we're expecting to be 
of concern and head our way. So other than Tropical Storm Philippe, things are looking pretty good out there in the Atlantic Basin. I do want to show you the spaghetti model or computer model tracks for Tropical Storm Philippe to kind of give you an idea of what our models are thinking about where this is heading. Right now you can see Philippe is off to the east southeast of Puerto Rico, but it is not going to slam into Puerto Rico because it's moving north. And notice most of the models take it north. A few take it closer to the Bermuda area, off to the west of Bermuda. Most of the models take it east of Bermuda, and that's what the National Hurricane Center official forecast track does as well. So it will likely take that turn to the north. It'll continue to move north and then likely push a little to the north and east as we go closer to the weekend into early next week. So I don't think it's going to be a direct hit for Bermuda, but it will be a close call. So we'll have to see if they go under any tropical storm watches. So there's Guadalupe, there's San Juan, Puerto Rico, and this is Philippe. This is our European model forecast or future cast. And you'll see that Philippe is churning northward as we go into Thursday and Friday, 7 p.m. Friday. I'll stop the clock here. Notice that Philippe is very close to Bermuda, just off to the east. So I can't rule out Bermuda going under potentially a tropical storm watch later this week but Philippe should stay far away from the east coast of the U.S. and it's certainly not going to be heading into the Gulf of Mexico. So good news for us. But it has been a pretty active hurricane season so far. Up to 18 named storms, six hurricanes, and three major hurricanes. This is already an above normal season as far as named storms are concerned. We're four name storms higher than average. We're close to average with the number of hurricanes and right around that average of three major hurricanes. But remember, this is for the entire hurricane season. Of course, an average season is taken from 1991 to 2020, but we're already above normal with those named storms. And we've still got almost two more months of hurricane season to get through. So we've still got Rena out there and Philippe, of course, Rena is almost pretty much dissipated. Philippe is still a tropical storm, but these are the remainder of the names that we have to get through. If we do have additional storms developing and they strengthen to a tropical storm or hurricane, we've got Sean, Tammy, Vince, and Whitney. And then after that, we are all the way through our list of hurricane names for this season. So it has already been a pretty active season. And even though we're getting closer to the end, we still can't let our guard down. This is the main reason why. We've got some pretty warm water out there in the Gulf of Mexico. Water temps in the 80s to low 90s. And it looks as though those water temperatures are not really going to be cooling down anytime soon. So when you have water that warm, and you still have the chance for these systems to develop. Of course, they can tap into that warm water and they can get going pretty quickly. Fortunately, I don't think that's going to happen in the Gulf in the next week, but still something that is a possibility, at least through the end of November. Also in the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean and the Atlantic, we've got those warm waters extending throughout. So make sure that you don't let your guard down, stay alert because we still have the shot that there could still be one or two of these additional tropical cyclones popping up. We can't rule out them developing in the Gulf, heading our way. So even though it's been quiet, you always want to make sure you are ready for action. Make sure you have a hurricane plan in place. Know what you're going to do with you and your family. Make sure you have the insurance that you need and make sure you know your evacuation routes. Hopefully you won't have to use any of that, but you need to make sure that you have it ready to go just in case. Also, another great thing to have, our Fox 26 weather app with all of the latest tropical weather, our forecast cones and a lot of other cool features on there. And of course, as always, you can get that local forecast and any tropical watches, warnings, alerts that come out locally or far away. So you can get it all. Just make sure to head to the App Store, search for Fox 26, and download our Fox 26 weather app. Well, that will do it for your Monday tropical weather update. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. Enjoy the rest of your Monday and stay safe.